Aloha. The Army announced last year that it would be cutting 40,000 soldiers and 17,000 civilian personnel as part of the Army's 2020 force restructure realignment across the nation to achieve the necessary savings required by the budget cuts due to sequestration. Due to the inability to reach a solution to the Budget Control Act, it was necessary to sustain cuts across the entire force in every location across the nation. Hawaii faced a worst case scenario of a reduction of almost 20,000 soldiers and civilian personnel, which we thankfully have avoided. And while unfortunate, our state shares some of that burden of the Army meeting its force structure needs. I'm encouraged by the fact that Hawaii gains mission expansion in the shift of major medical personnel and an air defense headquarters. I think this shows that the Army is committed to our state long term. The announcement of a shift from a striker brigade to a combat infantry brigade will result in a loss of 1,214 military personnel from Schofield Barracks, with another 229 coming from Fort Shafter. But the net total with the additional mission sets coming to Hawaii has yet to be determined. I've held several community events about this matter and have encouraged our citizens to make their voices heard about this critical issue. And I'd like to thank everyone in the community that helped with efforts to engage Army leadership. However, while we avoided a worst case scenario now, I find it imperative to note that without long-term budget fixes and further investment in our state, we must remain engaged and vigilant as the Army considers further force structure decisions. Mahalo.